All right, YouTube, we're at the corner of uh, North McGee and East 2nd Street, and I've seen this house right here that is not secured or boarded up or anything. If people have already been trying to scrap the aluminum from this house right here, as you can see, and notice on these presences prohibited. It's kind of hard to get up close to this right here, but show it to you as much as I can, but notice on these premises prohibited right here. Without the inspection of City of Dayton Housing inspection including violation of the owner. So clearly overgrown is slummed up and people have been trying to scrap the aluminum or whatever they could. Right here we got another building across the street from it that's vacant right here. I don't know the address on it. Well, actually, I'll find the address out right here. Subject address 102 North McGee Street. The address on this. And here's another vacant building right here on 3000 McGee or 2nd Street. And for sale by owner. One reason I wanted to show this area right here they keep trying to put these new houses in into bad areas and that's what caused a lot of these problems to begin with like you have these houses right here which are the welfare houses built by St. Mary Development Corporation they basically try and disguise these under the mask that well it's for working families and the truth is YouTube it's not and I've seen several of these on the other side of town that are vacant, that are vacant already, that are vacant already and boarded up. So they're just putting, you know, more low income housing back into bad areas. And right here, right across the street from it, new housing, this toll up bowl, 2912 and 2914. East 2nd Street and clearly you can see notices from the city right here it's not secured at all and and notice from the city functioning utility so it's clearly has been inspected right here a slummed up property right here and yet the city is building these new houses, these welfare houses, right across the street from it, and they're just reinfusing the same problem that caused these problems to begin with. And you could already see, well, the box has already been stripped off of here, and this gutter, well, this is vinyl, so this has not been touched or stripped. But yeah, it ain't secured at all. Padlock on the property. This is the back of the property right here. Not secured at all. So, you put in new housing into a bad area and you're just gonna have the same problem again in five, 10, 15, 20 years with these bad housing right here. This ain't secured, you can see the notices that are on it. So YouTube, we have these tow up bulls right here. And uh, you put in housing and you put it under the under the guise of, well, it's for working families, it's not. It's basically for people that are all welfare and then they're gonna give the house as a tax write off to somebody, which is a complete joke right here. Here, just to look at these houses right here. And right across from that toll bull right there. And here, YouTube, right here, another one right here. Right here, another one right here that's vacant and derelict and boarded up. So, they put in this crap right here. And you got properties like this. Now, this house right here is one that is actually solid as a rock brick-wise. I'm not sure how secure it is but you can see that the address on this the address on this one I am not sure an address on this but uh, 
The address is 2817, so I'm assuming it's 2819 or 2821. This big house right here that is clearly not... Well, it's secured on the bottom, but there's still some stuff in right here. This right here indicates right here where they just tore down a vacant property right next to this one. Here's the side view of this of this place here, here YouTube, and uh, and I noticed the window is open, so I think I'm gonna have a little look at what is at what is around here. But uh, there there used to be one or two vacant houses right there that are clearly you know not secured or anything right here this is the back of it right here you can see this is rotting away and everything I don't know an address but I'm gonna see about getting an address on this and I may end up doing a video of the inside of this place just to show you guys what it looks like and well you can see the tires and the dumping ground right here that's it for this one YouTube